And it was at that particular time, um, some years ago, Morris Lindsay came in and yeah. uh, he offered me a great contract and, um, and he, he talked about the future, about the players, the particular players, what would be coming into the side. And, and what I liked about Morris Lindsay, what was fantastic was that he'd always make sure that he would negotiate with the players first and with the team that he had at that particular time. To me, that was crucial. And he would, he would pick out his senior players and ask them, do you think he'd fit into our system? Oh, so he involved the players as he involved well. Involved the players. There was wow. like three or four key players and um, he involved the players and asked them, would he fit into our system? And that, to me, that's the way, I think that's where you breed success and you understand where your team is gonna be going and what you wanna be doing in the future. And it, it was a great system Morris had put in place. Yeah. And since that day, Wigan have been great. Even though there might be periods of time, Wigan might go through some tough games. You know you have to take your A game to beat Wigan. Yeah. And the, the, like all sides in the whole comp, in the Super League, they will get beat from time to time. But you know that more, t more times than not, you have to be good in all departments to beat the Wigan side. And they have still those characteristics about them even to this day. So Morris's cultures it, it, it left such an impression uh, on that Wigan team, and you played with some greats in that Wigan. And going full time when they did, is that do you reckon that was the, the the key? Did that did that impress you at the time that they were going to be the first full time team? Well, what was brilliant um, once again about Morris and um, was that his vision was fantastic, just in terms of what he wanted from the players. And what the players wanted from each other was so obvious and distinctive. I'll tell you why. It, 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 to me, what stood out hugely was this. A player who was in the organisation of the Wigan side would always find it difficult if he didn't pull his weight. The reason why, not because of the directors, but because of the personnel who were in the side. If you didn't pull your weight, I promise you, you would not get in the Wigan side. They wouldn't tolerate it. A, first of all, these, th these three particular things for me were strong and very, very important in terms of being successful and winning. And the first one is defending, collectively as a whole team. The second one is tackling, okay? And the third one is promoting the football. And if you couldn't do those three principal things well for longer periods of time than the opposition, you are in trouble and you probably won't get in the side or you'll be dropped down into the reserves and somebody else will take your place. And what was brilliant, the competition was fantastic yeah. in terms of um, players could never rest on the laurels and um, you'd think to yourself, well, I had a great game this week, wasn't good enough. You had to be right on the money every single week. Hence why Wigan was so successful. And that's why they carry that legacy even today with them, even from the period of time I played. So it's all about environment then and accountability within that environment and preserving that environment through the, the, the generations, I suppose. And, and not only that, a player's got to be like that George Bernard Shaw, the unreasonable man, because you've got to challenge anybody who's not conducive to that environment to keep it as good as it can be. Everybody can then flourish and grow. Is that a principle that you've kept throughout your sort of beliefs and philosophies as you've got older and gone into maybe business or other areas of life? No question about it. Um, was, I always say, even when I speak to players to, today, and um, and if I go into an organisation, I speak to um, the teams collectively. The, the the basic principles, you know, of being successful and being a winner and being a champion and being a successful team in an organisation is having that consistency. Yeah. And for me, how you judge somebody who is great and who is brilliant is by their consistency and their discipline. And if if they can do that. Week in, week out, week in, week out, year after year, to me, that's what I look at. I don't look at just in terms of flash play, just in terms of that particular game for that split minute. I need to see it for the whole 80 minutes and I need to see it all season.